Hello and welcome guys, this is your C10 and I am here with the surprise. Yes, I've got Rome Total War 2 and just got the patch today and yeah, things are gonna go are going great and I'm gonna start a new new let's play here with Rome Total War 2. Unfortunately, my PC isn't quite cooperating with me on the quality of this. It's not that good. In fact, I had to um uh bring it down all the way to low quality for it um, to actually work. In fact, I uh, hmm, also might need to, to um, uh, address the resolution later. But the uh, thing is that um, I'm going to begin my new campaign here now. And yeah, um, we have, because I pre-ordered this, I got the Greek DLC. But I'm not going to play as any of the Greek states because I am actually a newcomer to Rome Total War. So, because of that, I want to start out with something really easy. But, um. I didn't know who to play as. Like, I initially wanted to play as, uh. What is it? I initially wanted to play as Macedonia. And, um, uh, do some things as Macedonia, but, um. The thing is, is that uh, I've already played as a Greek state in Civ, and I don't want to play as another Greek state again, because that could get a bit monotonous on my channel. <clears throat> so, I decided why not go to the East, and play as Parthia. But then I noticed that Parthia was a very hard game to play. So, um, what I'm going to do is, so I was kind of caught, because I wanted to be Persian, since I haven't done any Persians yet, but Parthia was too hard, Macedonia was easy, but it was Greek, and I didn't want to do Greek again. Now, I could do do Rome, but I'm planning on doing Rome later, so that could be bad, but, um, hmm. You know, you know what, uh, well, the, you guys might be asking me that, but in short, I eventually decided on a compromise. I decided that I was going to play as Pontus. And the reason why I'm going to play as Pontus is because Pontus is a is a Persian state, but it is, well, it is a Greek state, but it is of Persian origin. So I think I'm going to do that. Now, as Pontus, I'm going to follow several goals. Like, I'm not going to play a full campaign, but I'm going to follow a goal that um, existed in the... Um, <coughs> what was it, uh, Rise and Fall of the Classical World Let's Play, and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to bring all of Antilia, Cry the Crimea, and the Crimea as well, under my rule, and then I'm going to move in and conquer Thrace, Macedonia, and Greece, and yeah, I think that that's what my goal is going to be, and <clears throat> I hope you guys can agree on that, I hope you guys support this decision, and I cannot wait to start this new game. Because I finished the prologue and it looked awesome. Although I hope that the graphics are better because I turned them all the way down to low. So yeah, um, let's get started. Uh, sorry about that guys, I had to change some of the settings because I wasn't um, uh, feeling with them and so that it could make this series easier to record because I think I'm just going to show you some battles. I'm not going to show you full gameplay like I did with Civ or U3. It's probably going to be just like U3 except I'm going to show you like some of the new battles and the new concepts that they have in this game. Although, don't expect too much good quality. If you want good quality then go to other people but... Um, <clears throat> at least, um, uh, you can see Pontus, because I don't think too many people are playing as Pontus right now. Alright, here's an narration. Fortunate in your ties to both Hellenic and Eastern cultures, you nonetheless face adversity. Cappadocia, now independent from Seleucid rule, is eager to establish itself in Asia. Cultural differences with the Galatians may lead to hostility, but they are fearsome warriors and might prove valuable if unconventional allies. Maintain close relations with Bithynia and Trapezos and establish ties with the venerable Greek states. This way, 
you'll be better protected against the machinations of the Seleucids and can focus on seizing control of the Pontic Sea from barbarian hands. Power and riches will be yours. Pontus will reign supreme. Okay, here's our first mission. It's to get two, two provinces under control, under our control. And uh, I know that uh, you guys, um, for you guys who are new to, to Rome Total War like I am, what I've read is that provinces are gatherings of four different regions. So yeah, that's our ultimate um, our goal to get four different regions and we'll get 2,500 gold if we get this. Currently, I believe we are at um, 6,000 gold. It's the year 272, and I believe it either goes by year or by six months, and I'm honestly hoping for the latter. Now, um, let's see, uh, our current objectives are to uh, form a defensive alliance with, with Galatia, the Celts, um, subjugate or conquer Cappadocia, and I believe we're at war with them at this point. And also have a province or settlement in this area. In, in one of these areas, Armenia or Galatia. And, um... Let's see, this is where, well, this is where we're at. We have Mithridates, Mithridates is our general. Um, well, these are our three generals. And one admiral. We have a statesman. And... I don't know how to read the screams too well. Like I said, I'm kind of new to new to this, but uh, I think we have Bithynia is our trade partner and defensive ally, and we are at war with Cappadocia. Um, what else? Records. The records tab is used to log events and store campaign statistics in one place for ease of reference. Uh, thank you. And stats. Okay. We're good. Now, what else would be considered worthwhile of notice? No event messages yet. This is... Okay. We have about three. Uh, that guy. I the king. I think he's a spy. Uh, a fleet, and I believe two armies. So, we're gonna march into Cappadocia. Uh, let's see, how many provinces do we have? Um, we just have Bithynia at Pontus right now. So hopefully we can, um, uh, <clears throat> Hopefully we can get control of those two provinces at the f in, some, in some future point. Like I said, I want to have all of Anatolia and, and Greece under my rule. That I want to like create a territory that resembles the Byzantine Empire with Pontus. So that well, that's my ultimate goal. Goal anyway. And these are the other factions. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do the what do the what would be considered this turn, and then I'm going to terminate the game. I'm not running on a timer, so if I go over time, then I'll split this into two vids. Alright, let's see what we're going to build here. And sign As up. the main administrative center in a region, the settlement contains both trade and military buildings. Settlements are the main consumer of food supplies in a province, so it is vitally important to keep food production buildings upgraded to avoid shortages. Hellenistic Village. We're at four food right now. Undeveloped land. Hmm. I want to 
to focus on technology first. Probably it's details. Yeah, I believe our capitalists seem to be. Alright. Well, this video is going to take too long if I um, uh, do this all at once. So, I'm just going to zoom out. And, yeah. I hope you enjoy, guys enjoy this vid. I am Pontus, and I think I'm going to be doing an update as far as I'm doing every 10 or 25 years, depending on what I feel like. So, I'm going to um, cut it off here. This is your C10, and I will see you next time. Bye!